Alright, so this technique is called cactar dashing. Uh, you know, the name of the technique, you know, really isn't that important. I don't think there's a, actually a solid name on the technique, but uh, I've heard a ton of people call it cactar dashing, you know. Uh, it was popularized by, by tree grabbing, if you guys know what that is, it's kind of an old school term. But, you know, anyways, uh, let's go over the way to do it. Um, so just like, you know, just like uh, fox trotting, the first thing that we want to do is define the difference between a dash and a run. I did say this last time, but I'll say it again. This is the dash dance range, and you can change your direction within the dash dance range, and it's completely lagless, or, you know, it's actually one frame of lag. Uh, but that, that one frame input lag is tiny in comparison to changing directions in the run range. So to get in the run range, you need to go outside of your dash dance range. And I'll show that right now. This is the run. This is me running and trying to change directions. And when I change directions, I kind of freeze in place and turn and stop and be really slow. That's never good, so... Changing directions is really meant for the dash dance. Until we have cactar dashing. This is where it gets exciting. So what cactar dashing does is... Um, it utilizes the run cancel, which I made a video of earlier. In the notes, I, I have it linked, so... If you want to check out the notes, then you can just watch the video. You know, it's only about five minutes. Uh, but really what, what a run cancel is, is crouching when you leave the dash dance range and enter that wide run range. So, one more time, this is the run range. It's about, uh, it's about here to the middle of the stage for Marth. And I can cancel my run by, by crouching. So when I cancel the run by crouching, uh, it, it takes me out of the run state and puts me in a, uh, in a neutral state. You know, I'm crouching, but it, it's neutral. It, it frees up my, my any movements. So when I crouch, I can, you know, stand jab, I can down tilt, I can forward smash. So when paired with a run, I can run and do an attack. So what a cactar dash is, is running canceling your run with run cancel, uh, done by crouching, so like that, and dashing again out of it. And that is how you can change the direction of your run when you've already extended it past the dash dance range. So that's, this is me doing cactar dashes. So you'll see that I leave the dash dance range, but I, I crouch to reset me and I dash the other way. And this is, this is all possible because of run canceling. So I'll try to show the input to this webcam right here. Uh, I'm just gonna run to the right and then I'm gonna crouch and then run to the left. So the input is really just right down, left, and I'll try to show it right here. <laughs> so it's just run to the right, crouch, left. Oops. Like that. Uh, I hope you could see my fingers, so... Just, just to reinstate it, it was really just me going to the right, pushing down after I leave the dash dance range, and then pushing left. And you know, while that seems, while that seems pretty simple, it's, uh, it's really good for when you need to cross the entire stage. Um, when, when people see that you're running, they assume that a lot of the options that you once possessed in the standing position are gone. Uh, run cancel completely takes it out, 
and a lot of times it can really just catch the opponent by surprise. I mentioned what a tree grab was earlier, and a tree grab is, is very important, uh, it's, and it's the best use of the Cactar Dash in my opinion. Really good with Marth and Sheik, uh, not so good with, with some of the other characters. But uh, anyone who has a good run speed and a good grab is good at it, so, you know, Marth, Sheik, Fox, probably. But uh, this is this is a tree grab. I'm just going to show you what it looks like, then I'll explain how to do it. Uh, so once again, it's just a uh, Cactar Dash, and then um, just like that, a grab. So you run, you crouch, dash the other way, and grab. What that does is it can help you do like a super long pivot grab pretty much. Uh, it lets you run forward and turn around and grab. What that means in in combat a lot of the time is uh, a cross up. So let's say if I ran up to the Sheik and the Sheik was expecting like a down tilt or something for me to at least hit the shield, I could run past and tree grab. Just like, just like that. And it's really good. It's such a mind game. That technique is popularized by a green Marth player named Fast Like Tree, now retired. But um, he is the one who popularized it, and that's why it's called a tree grab. Fast Like Tree. Uh, there, there are some YouTube videos on tree grabs, and so, you know, I think I'll put that in the notes as well. In fact, I'll pull that up for you right now.